Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free, the mini photo tutorials. If you want to see a high quality version of the photo I'm going to discuss, then go to my blog, parissetmefree.blogspot.com. Now, this picture was taken just around the corner from the old Paris horse market, which, uh, which is just in the direction that the lady in the red jacket is going. And uh, about a hundred years ago, there were more than 80,000 horses in Paris. It was, it was the horsiest place in the whole of France. And, um, and as you can see here, there's a, there's a little passage which is called, in my, in my not so hot French, Impasse du marché aux chevaux, I think. And that means um, the, the passage, or impasse, means um, dead end, or a cul de sac cul-de-sac, although the French don't use that to mean it, funnily enough, um, of, of the horse market. And true enough, it, it really does look like it uh, comes from a hundred years ago. Well, it does. Um, cobbled streets, there's plenty of them in Paris, if you know where to find them. Uh, you can see down here on the edge uh, some of these um, things uh, these stone things. Now I'm not not sure what they are but they may well have been to protect the the houses from the uh, the horses and the carts which rumbled down there um, and sometimes some of these you can see they've been worn away where the the edges of the the wheels have uh, rubbed against them. It's a uh, it's a lovely little passage and uh, the the sun shines not doesn't shine on it but you've got the cobblestones which are always a, a good opportunity for uh, a lovely textured picture but uh, you know what it ain't about the horse passage guys <laughs> it's uh, it's about the girl now <clears throat> what did I do with these two and what did I do with her and what did I decide the subject of the photograph was going to be well, to be honest, people are great and historical details are great. But if you can combine them, it makes it doubly great. Why not? You know, we have the the modern and the old, which is a marvelous com combination. We also have a certain enigma here because she's not looking at the camera and we might wonder what she looks like or why she's looking away. Is it because she doesn't want her photograph to be taken, is it because she's shy or is it because she hasn't seen me and she's simply walking like that and her hair's across her face um, with her hand in a rather uh, delicate um, pose which is quite sweet. Now <laughs> funnily enough I'm more interested in the girl than the couple although having said that there was a red thing there and a red thing there and they are walking away from each other with the slope of the backs there and the slope of her head. There's potential for a photograph there which could go something like this. Uh, so that, that's a possibility. I decided not to do that. I decided to do this. I decided that the girl was going to be the focus, the enigmatic girl was going to be the focus of this picture. Purposely and actually more interesting because her head is turned away. We don't know what she's like. That's the that's the mystery of this photograph. That's what makes it magical. Uh, it's also rather sexy because she's got a nice little bit of a cleavage there, which um, I, I'm saying it, you know, as a photographer because I know it's true. We like this, you know. It's a it's a sexy young Parisian girl, um, enigmatic. We don't know what she looks like. We don't know her life. Um, we can see the curve of her fingers, we can feel a certain sensuality, but we just don't know. We don't know about her, and we never will. Um, and backdropped, we have this lovely rich colour of her arm, the, the sun is shining on the top of her head, or at least the, the brightness of the light. Uh, we can see the, the edge of, the fo of her hair here is lit slightly, it's slightly le uh, lighter brown than the dark here, which is more in shadow. We can see the light on the edge of her fingers here and on the edge of her thumb and on the edge of her, her chest here um, which, which gives a lovely soft feeling. I haven't exaggerated it too much, I haven't oversaturated the colours but all of this colour with a slight bit of green here is contrasted with almost pure grey behind her. It's almost like I've Im 
superimposed a colour photograph of a person on a black and white shot with the added interest that it's a historical place. So there's nothing to get in the way of the, the en enigma of this girl. There's no cars, motorbikes going past, there's no McDonald's, uh, there's no advertisements, there's no street signs, litter bins, nothing. There's just this old lamppost, but lampposts are very characterful. There's nothing um, particularly nasty, uh, anachronistic about this. It's uh, it's very nice. And there's this lamp here is a very nice uh, balancing feature up in the top left. She's kind of bottom right. Um, she's If you take the middle of the photograph, it's about here. So she's slightly off to the right hand side, which is a good placing, uh, especially when she's if she's going in the direction of the arrow here, then it's good that she's slightly more to the left the right of the picture, so she has somewhere to go. But she's almost it almost seems as though she's not really moving very very fast, you know, she seems to be almost in a daze or in a haze or in some sort of reverie, which is uh which is very touching and it's the sort of the sort of moment it's very nice to capture. And um, on, a, on a completely different level, uh, I can publish this because her face hasn't been shown. You know, there's no, I don't think there's any repercussions I could possibly have. So that's, uh, that's a photograph I'm, I'm very happy with. I don't often take pictures of people, although I'd like to. It's just that I walk around so much, I'm always taking pictures of other things. But when someone does present themselves, and it's a, it's a valid, it's a valid uh, shot, then um, I'm very, very happy to, to capture it. That's all for, for that one. Don't forget, have a look at the, the high quality version on the blog, parissetmefree.blogspot.com. Thanks for visiting. See you next time. Bye bye. Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre. Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris.